Okay, what is up guys? Welcome back to What the China once again and today I have coach Greg Doucet anabolic French uh, French pancake French toast blueberry pancake um, It's right here. It's not really blueberry. It's I, I actually put raspberry on it frozen He put fresh, but I put frozen doesn't matter and guys It's still smoking. I just made it and man. This is so thick Tastes, it tastes pretty good. Not, not to the extreme, but still good. I lick the lid as always. So great, he eat it with Greek yogurt. Yes, plain yogurt. In my last video, I did say I was gonna do it with strawberry, but I want to do it exactly, exactly like Greek, like fuck, like Greek do set. So he eat it with uh, Greek yogurt. So this is two, so eight bread here in in total and a liter of egg white. This thing is bomb. Absolutely bomb. It's just French toast, but he turned it into a pancake. By the way, guys, this is a failed version because um, Greg, he blend, he put eight slices of bread, same here, but when he blend everything together, his trusty ninja, which is just a blender, worked. And mine didn't work, so I had to break everything in pieces. I have to use my very clean hand to break everything. Guys, if you guys don't know, I have two of these. My first meal of the day. I did faster cardio this morning, which I'm going to talk to you guys about in a second. But yeah, it's 4.17. Haven't had anything. Am I hungry? Don't feel too hungry to the point that I want to binge the fuck out. But, but yeah. This thing is bomb. Like, it's extremely thick. Mmm. And let's see if I can finish it. I don't think I can finish two because I'm not gonna lie, this is very, very big. Like, if you haven't seen this, yeah, nothing is this thick. Greg, do set. Man, you're a legend. He's an absolutely legend, man. He made everything so thick. Oh, yeah. I also have this Warden Farm Syrup. I'm gonna put a little bit. And then I'm gonna do the uh, Queen Sugar Free Maple Syrup later on to see just the difference. But to be honest, I don't really taste any difference between Warden Farm and Queen Maple Syrup. I don't really taste any difference, to be honest. Guys, like I said, I woke up at 2.30 today. I woke up pretty pretty late. I tried to do a faster cardio, which I did. It was a struggle. I had to stop many, many times because I have no food in my body. So therefore I have like pretty much um, <laughs> no, no energy, I think, uh, I guess. Pretty much no energy. Yeah, I have like literally no energy to run. But I still managed to get 30 minutes in. And after this, I'm going to do some, you know, skipping rope. I'm going to do some skipping rope and lift weights. Today is a uh, back workout. Back and bicep, I should say. Yeah, first meal of the day. The taste is just absolutely amazing. It's not like 100% flavorful to the point I'm like, oh man, I will buy this, but it's not bad. It's, it, 
this is all healthy and it's full of protein. Which I probably should have had it before, um, after the workout because, you know, muscle, but oh well. I just want to eat. <laughs> oh yeah. Warden Farm Syrup and then map uh, Queen Maple Syrup. Let, let's taste the difference. To be honest, they're all pretty much the same, except this has zero calories, which which it doesn't, because everything has calories. But the thing is, in the United States, they can just round it off, you know? They can round everything off. So here is the Queen Maple Syrup. I'm gonna try. Mm -hmm. Warden Farm Syrup. Guys, I did, I did do it. Wait, look, very, very thick. So, like I said, I did faster cardio. If you guys never tried faster cardio, I don't really recommend because you have no food in your body. You'll feel like very sluggish, extremely um, lethargic. Yeah, that's what happened to me. Like, I had to take breaks many, many times. Guys, just look at it. I had to take breaks many, many times. Guys, I should just like eat it straight on the table because this table is very clean. Wait, if I eat it on the table, maybe you guys will see it better. Or I have an idea. Wait a second. Yeah, maybe it just. Wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. So I'm gonna just, just wipe off the plate. Wiping off the plate. Cause I, I want you guys to see it better. Yeah. The back of the plate, actually nah. I don't think, I, I, I don't think it work that well. I'm just gonna put it back up. But you guys can still see it, which is good. Which is good. Um, yeah, if I eat it right on the table, you guys can, you know, obviously see it better. But, oh well. Next time I'll just get a chopping board. <laughs> I'll just put everything on a chopping board and show you guys. All right, back to the topic. So, fasted cardio. Do I recommend? No which I just said it. But if you guys want to give it a try, give it a try, you know? There's nothing wrong with trying out new things. Yeah, there's, there's not, nothing wrong with it, you know? Trying out new things. Yeah. I always try out new things in life, you know? But there is a myth about um, there is a myth about faster cardio. Basically, saying um, if you do faster cardio, your body burns more glycogen. But in my opinion, I don't really think it makes like any difference. I don't think it makes big difference. If you want to do a fed, fasted, it doesn't really matter. Almost ran out of almond milk. I put, I should have bought more almond milk with me, but oh well. Yeah, definitely. I, I recommend you guys try it out, but yeah, just because I can't do faster cardio doesn't mean. You guys can't, you know, just be, because like every, everyone's, everybody's ability to different things are different.
just some people they do intermittent fasting where they don't eat throughout the whole day and a big meal at night to me I can't fast for that long yes right now it's four o'clock first meal of the day but the thing is guys I went to bed at two last night you know watching YouTube doing all this and that so yeah that's why I was able to eat at this late but if it's just a regular day where if you want me to fast for this long no way I don't think I can do it okay so I put a little bit of Warden farm here and a little bit of Queen's Maple because I don't think because I think I think Queen's Maple tastes a little bit better than Warden Farm pancake syrup they're both low calorie Warden Farm says zero calories but they are calories I track it as two but I don't care about calories so that bite was from Queen Maple syrup. This bite from Warden Farm. They're, they're both decent. You guys try try faster cardio. Try it out. If you feel like you can't do it, then don't do it again. Simple as that. Pretty simple, you know. But I always like to try new things. This is my first time tried uh, faster cardio outdoor. Um. I've done faster cardio before um, on a treadmill and it was a little bit hard but man I challenge you to try outdoor not on the treadmill all right outdoor because right now gym are closed so I have to do my cardio outside weightlifting inside thankfully I found a gym uh, I found a gym that loan out weights which I'm very very happy Like, like, man, finally, I can freaking train. Hmm. This meal in total, probably 1,500 calories. But I haven't had anything all day. And guys... Do I recommend tracking calories every day? No, because if you do track calories and you're gonna develop a pretty unhealthy relationship with food, you can do it, you can try it just to you know mess around with it, but I really don't recommend doing it because you will develop a pretty unhealthy relationship with food. And Diet can turn into um, eating disorder pretty easily. You know, there's a lot of diet out there, you know, turning into eating disorder. People have eating disorder starting off very, very big. And they lose weight and then they feel like they need to keep on losing weight. Which is not the case. If you... If you want me to, like, if you guys know me in person, you'll know that I used to be a pretty big dude. I lost a lot of weight, but I haven't tracked anything, tracking zero calorie intake. Because when people lose weight, they're in a deficit, so if they eat less, they only do a little bit of cardio. But they don't do a lot of cardio, so they will need to eat less food. But if you just run on the treadmill and you do it a lot, you seriously don't need to count calories. Just eat intuitively, eating more healthy whole food like this. More healthy whole food. Then yeah, you will be you will lose weight eventually. So what I do is. 30 minutes on the treadmill, walking on an incline, weightlifting, and then 40 minutes running. 
and that's how I lost the weight. Didn't need to track calories, all those bullshit, you know. I didn't need to do that at all. And guys, if you do go to the gym, find a program that you like, that you truly love. Don't get advice from people saying, oh, you shouldn't do cardio, you shouldn't do this. There's people saying cardio killing gains. Well, no, guys, cardio do, does, does not kill gains. If you just sit on your ass all day and then just do lifting, it's not very healthy, you know. Cardio don't kill gains. And a lot of people say you should do HIIT cardio, but in my opinion, HIIT is BS. Mm -mm, you shouldn't do HIIT. Because, first of all, if you like doing HIIT, then do it. But in my opinion, I can't do it, man. HIIT is just way too hard. And it says it has um, afterburn effect where you burn calories for like over 24 hours. Man, it doesn't. I mean, it probably does, probably. It might do, it might not, but I'm not too sure. But it doesn't really make it a big difference. The difference are very, very rare, you know. There is no big difference out there about a hit cardio and just steady state. If you feel like you have a lot of energy, then do hit. If you don't, then do steady state. You know, you have a choice. But fitness, it's all about how you want your body to be like. And make sure you guys follow, um, if you guys are into, like, you know, fat loss, make sure you follow good YouTubers. I recommend Greg Doucet. This is his recipe. I recommend Greg Doucet. I recommend Zach Perna. Yes, Zach Perna. He's my favorite YouTuber. And, of course, Darko Bunich. Um, his YouTube channel is uh, Live Life. Yes. Make sure you follow Live Life on YouTube. Because Live Life, he knows how to diet down. He knows how to bulk up properly. Unlike those other fucking dumbass YouTubers like... Yes, Official Denex. I hate that guy. Chris Harrier. His main YouTube channel, Official Denex. If you haven't ch uh, watched his video, check him out. The stuff he does is just ridiculous. Like, no regular person can do it. Even Greg Doucet made a video on official Denex. The stuff he does is just ridiculous. Burn fat overnight, doing L-sit, doing, you know, handstand push-up. Burning fat overnight. It's, it's, it's so dumb. Like, official Denex, he's just there for money, for views. It's not like he doesn't really want to help you out. He have he has like zero. When I say zero, I mean like literally zero passion at helping people out. Check out official Denex if you guys don't know him. Absolutely, he's he's just ridiculous, man. He also done a full day of eating where he eats like 1800 calories only. And he does a lot of exercise. Like man, who eats like that? And also he's like, oh, he does carb cycling. Sometimes if you have a higher carb, he's gonna... And his main carb source are from broccoli, vegetables. So no rice, no nothing. No rice, no bread. His videos are just ridiculous. And if you do his workout, it's very, very discouraging. Because you feel like you're a failure. You know, you can't do his workout. You feel like, oh, something's wrong with you.
but nothing's wrong with you. It's just that that, that guy, he's, he's a moron. Yes, I'm calling him out. He's a moron. He really is. I'm not the only person that hate on him. A lot of people do. And please don't follow other dumb YouTubers saying, you know, the egg diet where you lose 5 kilos in 10 days. This is a YouTuber, I think. Her name is um, Vitasaki Viki. She's an Indian YouTuber. She, I don't think she has done a face review before. But man, if you do follow her, don't. Don't listen to her because she does a lot of this bullshit diet, you know. Egg diet, lose 5 kilos in 5 days. Yeah, no shit you're going to lose 5 kilos. You're eating nothing. You're not losing fat. I mean, you probably are like a kilo of fat. But as soon as you get out of her diet, you know, egg diet, 2 eggs and 1 piece of citrus fruit. And then lunch, chicken, dinner, tomato, you know. And then you're going to rebound like that. That's why a lot of people just feels like straight away you get you get even fatter when you come out of a diet. You get even fatter is because because of binge eating. A lot of people binge, which I don't blame it. So make sure you follow good YouTubers. Greg Doucet, Zach Perna, he lives in Melbourne. Just like me. So yeah. I follow Zach Perna. I follow, yeah. Make sure you, make sure you follow Zach Perna. He, he is very inspiring. Um... Yeah, Zach Pona, live life. Yeah, don't follow um, official Dinex. He's a moron. He really is. Especially full day of eating. He's full day of eating. Like, I feel like it's a massive BS. There's no way he eats that much. It's nothing. 1800 calories. And he's very, very active as well. If you do eat that every day, then he's going to become a stick. And he's like, oh, every day he eats, uh, whatever he eats every day. Are completely different. Yeah, well, no shit. Who, 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 who just eats the same thing every single day? You know. Nobody eats the same thing every single day. Oh yeah, who else do I watch? Oh yeah, if you guys are suffering from eating disorder, I recommend you check out Eric the Electric. He doesn't make um the motivational video anymore. Because he's a competitive eater now, but he has made quite a bit of video uh, during the past. There have, yeah, there has been, there has been very, very inspiring. So yeah, guys, follow good YouTubers. Don't follow like those dickheads, you know. You gotta, you gotta follow good YouTubers. You have to, guys. If you don't follow good YouTubers, meh. Then you're not gonna see progress and you're gonna end up hating life. I'm telling you. Don't follow YouTubers saying, oh, do this, you know, eat two eggs and one piece of citrus fruit. This blah, 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 egg diet, the juice diet, you know, eat celery sticks and drink water. Don't. Yeah, after having this meal, because yesterday the French toast made me feel so full to the point that I can't like finish it. But today, for some reason, I still feel a little bit hungry right now, even though I haven't finished it. Maybe I just have a, a massive appetite. Or maybe it's because I did uh, fasted cardio, which makes you a little bit more, which, which makes you more hungry. 
Who knows? Who knows, you know? But this this is really thick. Yeah. If you're on a weight loss journey, I support you. But yeah, like I said, I do not recommend counting calories. But if you want to count calories, then count calories, you know. It's all up to you. Because yes, losing weight is about calorie in and calorie out. But it's also about it's also about patience and you can lose weight by just eyeballing I, like I literally eyeball everything right now like right now my goal is not I don't I'm not really trying to lose weight especially right now during quarantine I don't want to lose any weight I just want to maintain a lot of people tell me I should you know stop doing cardio because like if you because I do go to gym with a neighbor and I know quite a bit of people in my gym as well they always tell me to stop doing cardio but not once I listen to them not once because fitness is about what you want your body to look like not what other people want your body to look like you know so if you lost a lot of weight people say you need to bulk up then you bulk up then you get too fat too bulky and they say oh you're, you're a fat kind you need to lose weight then you lose weight then you're just going to associate yourself um with the society which is very very dangerous mindset to have it's extremely dangerous so yeah don't do it if you are overweight and you want to make a change then do so but don't like listen to others you know listen to yourself only yes always listen to yourself oh man this thing is huge hmm. Like holy damn, holy moly. Am I full right now? Not to the, not to the exact point. But I'm pretty satisfied. Hey okay, guys, actually um, you guys should follow YouTubers that actually make delicious food. Because a lot of fitness YouTubers saying you need to eat healthy. And then they make food that don't even taste good. Like chicken breast with salt and pepper. Then, you know, vegetables with salt and pepper. Like, yeah, it doesn't even taste good. And that comes to um, official Denex, that moron that I don't like. I'm not the only one that called him out, you know? Even Greg Doucette don't like him. I think a lot of people hate him. Official Denex Chris Harrier. He done a food, uh, he done a nutrition cooking. So basically the stuff he cook, he's like, oh, you need to watch out with seasoning. Seasonings are full of calories. He likes to use salt and pepper. And guess what he does? He, he dump a bunch of oil on the frying pan, oil is full of calories and he's saying he need to watch out with seasoning. Why can't you just spray it with Pam spray or put it on a non-sticking pan and season it with, with calorie, uh, season it with seasoning that actually has calories and that actually, <coughs> sorry, that actually tastes better. Why can't you just do that? You know? It probably will have less calories, you know? In the end, it probably, yeah, in the end, it probably has less calories. So, gotta, gotta follow good YouTubers. And, oh yeah, who else do I watch? Oh yeah, I also watch, um, Asil Suede. 
but I only watch his full day of eating video. He doesn't like the point of him is he wants to help you out, but he's not like a free guy. Like like he makes YouTube video just for money, which is nothing wrong with it. He like he promotes a lot of online coaching. He does online coaching. He promotes a lot of his program, so he doesn't uh, offer too much advice on YouTube. Yeah, he doesn't offer you too much advice. He does a lot of full day of eating, which I have watched him quite a bit. His full day of eating video. They're pretty helpful. But the thing is, the thing I don't like is um, he fasts way too long. There's nothing wrong with fasting, but a lot of people, he teach you how to fast, but a lot of people can't handle the fast. The fast is way too long. He's sometimes he fasts all day. He fasts all the way until six o'clock. Like man, that is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Some people, yeah, some people can't fast that long. I don't really recommend fasting that long as well because you may feel like you know, binging. Amen. This mukbang is very, very long. I think this might be my longest, longest ever mukbang. But hey, who cares? Uh, if you watch the video until now, I just want to say thank you so much. Listen to me talking. Oh yeah, Ben Den, B E N, and then D double E N. Yeah, that's his YouTube channel. He has a lot of uh, subscribers. I don't even know how he doesn't have too much videos, but somehow he has a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot of subscribers. By doing just like exactly what I'm doing. And he does do an hour long mic bang as well, just like me. And somehow he has, he gets over 200,000 views every time. I don't know how he got so famous. I literally don't know how. Maybe he's a model or something in Korea because he lives in Korea. Yeah, he might be a model or something. Who knows? Oh my god. Don't really feel <clears throat> too full. Always. <clears throat> Never waste food. But I'm just going to stop. And I might eat a meal after my workout, you know. Mm. Oh shit, there's only a little bit left. Right, I'm not going to drink it out of the kettle this time. Just just for you, whoever commented on my video the other day. And also, um, yeah, there's people come up to me in school saying, why do I drink out of the kettle? They were laughing, so... I'm not drinking out of the kettle. You happy now? Righty, bruh. I hope... I satisfied you, alright? I, ho I hope I made you happy. Didn't drink it out of the kettle this time. Speaking of time, what's the time? Holy damn. It's 4.50 already. 
Jesus Christ. 450. Man. Hmm. Yes. This is Greg Doucette. Anabolic pancake. Failed version. I literally had to break the bread in pieces. Which is which is not good. I probably did break my blender, but who cares, man? I don't care anymore. I don't really care anymore if I break it. Okay, just gonna dip it in some yogurt. This is the last bite, guys. No, no more bite after this. And I feel still feel kind of kind of hungry right now but maybe because i'm thinking about food too much because it apparently it takes 10 minutes after eating till the food goes into your brain so i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait 20 minutes but yeah after this i'm gonna stop eating for a bit i'm gonna get a workout in and then i might have a meal after my for my post workout and then do my cardio so just running again and then yeah the day just like that the day's gone again so if you're watching until now i just want to say thank you so much really really appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time peace